Oh, shit. Oh, no. My off whites. Don't look at my foot. My off. It's not. No, really... it's a cute foot. Yeah, it's a cute foot in the dark, but that's the Django foot. I didn't give the Django foot back. I thought like 18 toes were going to be on there or something. This next guest, get ready. She's amazing. She went from being a little farm girl in Illinois, racking up credit card debt, to being one of the highest paid actor actresses in Hollywood. She says she does it by deploring her fists of justice. She's been nominated for an Oscar. She's won Emmys. She does it all. She's amazing. Please, Melissa McCarthy in the building. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh my. I'm just saying, there's a rooster out there, and it was pissed. <laughs> Listen, Hi. how are you? The, you good. You, wow. What? I wow saw, yourself, I saw buddy. the team out. I saw, I saw the team out there getting the right. Is this real, Velvet? It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's crushed. <laughs> it's crushed. It is crushed. It's, Look at I've dreamed about this, just being on a crushed velvet couch with you. I crushed it earlier for you. <laughs> yes, I crushed it myself. <laughs> I went through and just crushed it. all of it. <laughs> I said, she's coming. Let me crush this. <laughs> you literally just. Thank First you. of all, can we, can we get a can we get a beverage? Oh yes, I grabbed that real fast. Yeah. To you, to, to the you. beginning of crushing our own velvet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Listen, oh girl, uh, that, that just something? seems right. When I saw you, what did I do? I said, "Do you know who you are?" Like like a like a sincere and fan. I, and I got really confused because <laughs> I was like, "I don't know what I'm supposed uh, to say." I, I, do you know who? Who you are. <laughs> uh, when you did Sean Spicer, you know you changed the world. With Spicer, I was like, I don't do impersonations. I'm like, I don't think that's something I can do. And then I was like, am I going to look like Spicer? And they're yeah. like, oh, don't worry about that. That'll be fine. I was like, <laughs> wow, wow. Well, Which basically I was like, this is going to take hours. hours right. Like you wanted to be like, we got to get a team in here. And like one guy was like, no, I got it. It's not that, it's not that hard. <laughs> And oh. then in like 12 minutes, I was like, God damn it. <laughs> I look exactly like an old white guy. I was like, do you need to do anything to my hands? They're like, no, your hands are pretty masculine. We can just, <laughs> we can just let those roll. I was oh, like, oh. my goodness. What's your take on where we are in the, in the, in the I world? I hope it's a cautionary tale. Right. To have everything hate and fear driven is not how not I good. live. Yeah. It's, it's not good for anybody, and I just think you just yeah. can't live, like, I have two kids, like, Ooh. you know, they, like, want answers, and I'm like, I got it's nothing tough. for you. What movies, when you're growing up, mattered to you? What made you, you know, oh, like, God. oh, I got to do that? Planes, Trains, and Automobiles Ooh. was, like, huge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It made me laugh so hard because mm -hmm. it was, like, embarrassing. Like, it's humanity, and it's how people really are, and right. you love them, and you hate them. Oh, and, man. like, I watched it on a plane once, like, after, I'd already seen it yeah. so many times, and I realized, like, oh, I can't watch that publicly. Because Cause I, I seem crazy. Because <laughs> I cried like like I did a weird yeah. cry, and then next I was like, <laughs> <laughs> with like tears coming down, and right. like that, right. you can't do that on planes anymore. Wow, that wow. makes people nervous. <laughs> Jamie Fox off script right now. Uh oh, <laughs> off script right now. Off Wait, script. are we stretching? Is Off this the stretching segment? I'm just segment? trying to see what's up with where, where's the stretch? That was a lot. We might be able to use where's this one because right that one now? I feel like is a real birth canal. There's a stretch. <laughs> the only reason I'm doing that is because I know you was a cheerleader when you was growing up. And then that, look, the, the classic moment, I got to get the classic moment uh, 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 in Bridesmaids when the... I yep. didn't think it was that weird, which shows what a weirdo I am. I was like, oh, I'll just put my leg up. And then somebody was like, ew. <laughs> So what do you think on set was like, ew, is that your real leg? And I was like, is that weird? It's Why all I've got. Ooh. All I have is loose hips, guys. <laughs> uh, you don't cuss a lot, do you? Not, I mean, I have my because, moment, but not, not like this, I do. Because the scene, and this is 40, is one of the most, oh. like, listen, we sit up, it's off script with Jamie Foxx, we sit up and we marvel at that scene. When Judd showed me that, for some reason, I didn't remember saying like 82% of it. There was a crazy thing where I was like, I don't know where my brain went, but mm. I was saying stuff. And as we were watching it, I was like, I didn't say that. <laughs> and Jen's like, we're watching you say it. I'm like, I don't think I said that. Wow. Well, here's the question. Was that written? No. That whole, it, it's like I was supposed to be angry at her. You ever seen a rat? You ever seen a rat? <laughs> 
in the corner, I'll chew through you. Where's that coming from? I lived in New York and we had very big rats that ate through a tin can. They opened the one metal cabinet we had, this is when I was 20, uh -huh. and tomatoes poured out everywhere and I was like, what the, how? And I turned the can around yeah. and a rat had eaten through the tin oh, can. Man. That's when you're like, That's mm. crazy. It's when you're like, something bad is gonna happen in the middle of the night. <laughs> were nominated for an Oscar. How crazy. I mean, how I mean, how crazy that Illinois, uh uh bad credit, uh, uh <laughs> such bad credit. Really, I mean, I mean, and now you you going in the little bitty door that everybody in this in this city wants to go through. How did that feel? Crazy. And I think it feels crazier now because I'm like, you never get it for a comedy. I don't know how you, you experienced it, but I was so hood, for lack of a better word. I had my cell phone, I got everybody's number. Like I saw Warren Beatty, oh man, what's up? Oh shit, let me get your digits. My whole thing went, let me get your digits. And Warren you Beatty just number. went around getting I got a, everybody like a number. phone? I saw the a medicine phone woman. Hello, Jen, I really love your performance. Yeah, let me get your digits, I'm gonna holler at you, man. Where you at? Medicine woman, put you on the medicine. Woman. <laughs> so I, I got still your just, phone under my I, I, I had everybody, and I never called these people. Because I remember getting Richard Gere's number, and he said, hey, don't be fucking calling me. <laughs> Oh no, no, he told, he told me. He said, but he gave you know, the he number? gave me the number. He says, hey, did you don't. call to be like, I didn't. This is I didn't. But he said, hey, don't put me on that fucking. Is uh, Dick here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dick, let me holler at you. Hey, Dick. Dicky Dick. <laughs> are you in gear? So, Dick, are you in gear right now? <laughs> You're on an island. I'm on an island. You're on an island. Who would be on that island with you other than myself? Yourself, yeah. starting. But who Certainly would you before want my to... kids. Yeah, just before you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Is this being taped? <laughs> um, I don't know. Who would be on your That's island? Like picking your favorite album. I can't do it. I'm How, not capable okay, of doing it. Don't do your favorite album. Who's your favorite artist? I love Nina Simone. Ooh. I love Ella Fitzgerald. Eh. Can you answer? Can, is you like, I know. I know I would have Prince. Because oh, Prince God. developed me in every way. He developed me musically and how I would talk to girls. Because Prince was sort of like, like Michael Jackson was sort of like mainstream and Prince was sort of like naughty. It was a poster of him laying on an altar. I was like Catholic school and I literally was like, oh, I don't have everything I want. <laughs> it was like, it made me crazy because I loved him so much. And then also to like, I just saw a little bit of side cheek and I was like, <laughs> hmm. And my mom went in while I was at school, cut it up, and then roughly stapled just the two parts that said 1999, or what, it, back together, yeah. and then put the 45 back in there. And I was like, yeah. where's the poster? Yeah, with the She's like, did you buy it for the poster or the music? I was yeah. like, both! <laughs> for Christ's sake, both! It's so side cheap! <laughs> I needed, that. like, I was like, I'm, I'm crazy about oh, him. Man. Is funny still important? Oh, God. I think it's, yeah, my God. Yeah. I mean, we're we're idiots. Right. I think you have to be an idiot. I mean that lovingly. Yeah, yeah. There's something really good about you. where you're still just an absolute idiot. Mm -hmm. And like all my friends are still like we're. It's nonsense. My kids are weird. It's not a very serious household. I mean, there's a lot of. That keeps you fun. Yeah. And the kids are in on it too. Kids are weird. Like Ben moons me all the time, and now the kids moon me. Here's the bit in the house. It's always like, does anybody know where the milk is? And I'm like. And I go in there, and he's standing there reaching in the refrigerator, and is like, it's just to moon me. <laughs> and now the girls do it to me. So oh my kids my are always goodness. like, where's the, I need a Band-Aid, Mama. I'm like, did you check the Band-Aid drawer? They're like, Mama, where's the Band-Aid? So I come in nervous, and they're like bending over <laughs> in front of like the Band-Aid drawer, and they're like. <laughs> you, you need to do something on camera where you suck. <laughs> Because you can't do comedy, you can't get Oscars for drama. When I saw you first play that piano, I just thought, should he be doing that publicly? <laughs> should he? And then you sang, and I was like, well, that's not gonna help. <laughs> it get, I want you, I, I've gotta find out, like, who's the worst roller skater? <laughs> Something, because if you do this great too, it's, the only people reason, are gonna turn on you. Listen, listen, <laughs> the only reason I do this great, because I got great people, to interview, you know, man, you're amazing. I'm telling you, you're amazing. You have a new movie. I do. It's called Life of the Party. Of the Party. Please is, tell us about that. It's, I love it. It was like such a blast to do. It's, uh, 
you know, I'm a mom and a wife and we're sending our, our one and only daughter off to college mm. and I'm planning this like second honeymoon with my husband okay. and in the driveway of dropping her off, he's like, I want out. Oh, I want a goodness. divorce. And uh, I kind of have a full, you know, I kind of break down quickly and then I'm like, well, who am I if I'm not a mom, if I'm mm -hmm. not a wife? Like, I'm a person. I go back to college, but I go with my daughter. Oh, and kind of like, oh. kind of try to figure out like, who who am I if yeah, it wasn't yeah. this? And it's just so fun. I was with all these like young women and, you know, young, you know, young actors too. And mm -hmm. I didn't know what that was going to be like. And it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Man. Like they were also like smart and professional. I was mm -hmm. like, I was an idiot. And like 22, I was <laughs> right. like running around New York, just mm -hmm. like, you know, what yeah. club are we going to? I was like you're, a complete idiot. Right. They'd come to set on days they weren't working just oh, to hang man. out. They like be, they want, they it want was, that energy. It they just was that. fun and That's it's, fantastic. I don't know, it's happy. Uh, we're gonna take a look at life of the party. You wanna set it up? I don't know which one it is. There it is. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's hot. <laughs> All script, Jamie Foxx, Melissa McCarthy. It's been incredible. Thanks. Oh, my God. Thank you. 23 years of marriage just down the tubes. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm a 40-something-year-old woman that doesn't even have her degree. Let me see you. That's why somebody's mom just enrolled in college. Beep, beep, beep. It's me. I want the full experience oh hell no i don't know what saturn the mom perm or the mom boobs these allow this one to suckle at these teeth for 28 months Not i wear them around my talk waist about this nonsense. proudly ha -boom! for 20 years i worried about what i wasn't doing right what i could have been doing better you have a moment here if you take it I did not know they were going to be here. What is on your lobe, Dan? It's an earring. Huh? It works for Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford blew up the Death Star in Frida Galaxy. What have you done, Dan? Life of the Party. Rated PG-13, May 11th.